Maybe I can do the interaction here. Oh, I get it! Oh, don't hit me! Spread it, spread! It spread! Oh, it spread! Oh, baby, that was all worth it. it everything was worth it up to that point. What's up everybody, I'm back with another Solene play-by-play -play in the Zeta A series. Today we're going to be playing Set and Cirquette with the double feature for Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. We only got 20 seconds. I had to speed run this, so I'm already in the world. Actually, we'll do this so we can make it fair. You guys know the rules, though. If you're new around here, then the rules are, if I get the GeoGuessr right, you have to like the video. So, um... How much time do I have? Not much. Um, this looks like France, though. Let's just go France. Let's go. This is actually near Paris. We'll take that. Um, so yeah, you gotta like the video. Let me go full screen real quick. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to do it because I might freeze and it'll, I'll be running away. Our clear is about to be really bad. Yo, Vulcan! You got your meatball! I swear every video we have a worse start. I'm just gonna pop my shard so I can actually uh, clear this. I grab speed instead of blue on accident. Unlucky. Quite a bad start. Yeah, but we're gonna go into Axe Jotun's build on set. Um, just because I wanna keep trying that. I think it's good. Actually, not a great matchup here. You know, Kraken slow immune and... I'm not gonna have mana now either because I grabbed the speed. But yeah, let me try the Axe Jotun's Glyph build out. Once again, set would probably be one of the better characters to utilize it. Lots of early... Uh, Kill potential as well, because I have 30 power. I really need this totem. I'm just gonna get it. He ignored it for some reason. He has the vamp shroud build. Didn't go any pots though, which is weird. Basically get guaranteed axe procs with set. Uh, oh, the team's dying. I went full screen right, yeah, okay. But yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. I, uh, I recorded the intro and then walked to my blue, but Odin started going crazy in the background, so I had to redo it. This guy's dead. What is he doing? He's just doing circles. He, he got confused, didn't know what to do. Once he played up, up again like that, he was just dead because, I, like I said, I have so much early game kill potential with all this power. Ended up not needing my blue, considering I got totem. Didn't like spam my mana. If I can get this next totem as well. Eh? What's going on here? He's level three and I'm level four, so I actually out movement speed him a little bit there. I want to get this totem again. Make sure I keep a decoy alive so I can two away, or I can just dash to that one. Played a lot of set in my time. He's actually one of my favorite characters. Um, he's got a simple kit, but. He's still really fun. Sometimes, like, simple... Simple can be good, you know? Because he's still... He's, like, it's simple, but it still has a high skill ceiling. It's not like Bakke, where it's simple and a really low skill ceiling, you know? Like, I think set skill ceiling is still really high. It's got some skill shots. got some cool interactions you can do with his... All of his abilities. Uh, the jungler could be at my blue, because I haven't backed after killing him. Um, but I do hit five here. So... If it's just Kabrak in here, I'm going to kill him, probably. Yeah, I'm lucky. That was his one down. I might go on him. I'm going to. I'm going to beat this. For CC immunity. Try and pop my shard here. Nice. We hit Nem as well, so we did a lot of damage. Make sure we stack on top of our clones here, because they'll rock our ult. Nice. All right. Ended up working out. We just knew that we would heal a bunch there, so we can kind of all in him. We lost the blue, which is unlucky, but it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, I had a I had a beautiful take for the intro, and Odin ruined it by going crazy in the background. But it's okay. He's just being a good dog, you know. Um, actually, I don't know. I mean, Bow's still decent on set. I was thinking about going maybe Party Punch, but it just takes so long to stack in solo because you're not really killing that many jungle camps. Funny enough, I have not gotten a blue buff yet this game. <laughs> but we can get this totem. Try and do this first. Set secure is really good on buffs. You uh two one through the buffs, so yeah, lots of damage. I already have fifty-five power. 
Oh, I'm gonna miss that minion. It's dying. Yeah, I missed it. All right, I'll poke him. This guy is interesting. I'm gonna three for some damage immunity. Damage mitigation. Try to hit him plus the way we cannot, though. You always want to be trying to hit the enemy god plus the wave. More bang for your buck. It's the easiest way to win lane. Just keep running away from him. I'm still out outpacing him. You don't reach your max... Oops, I missed my one. You don't reach your max movement speed until level 7. So if you have a level lead in lane, you're going to be faster than people a lot of the time. Yeah, just keep getting these axe procs. Short cooldown, especially with Jotuns now. I'll just clear. That almost full clears. Going to at rank four. Not a problem yet. Grab another totem proc. Blue's coming up soon. I have no beads. Not the biggest of deals, but I don't really know what's going on here. Unless Seth's here, this guy just hit me for no reason. I'm gonna ult him. Should just be a kill. I kind of want to ult on cooldown because I have Jotuns. Oh, that should be good. He almost, he almost got me with the ult. Nen might be here because she invaded the last blue, so they have timer. I'm just going to go in and push. This is really greedy because if she's... Oh! Got to hit those. I'm not going to have mana. I can maybe kill this guy. Try to avoid that. Hide behind the minions. Nice. Outplayed him. <laughs> he outplayed him really hard. <laughs> Kabrakin's back. Oh, here he comes. I should be good if I just one run away. I'll pop this health pack because I kind of want to jump over the wall to my blue. Nem's not here. At least not yet. But I should be able to get this. Your tower won't hit the buff if you pull it right here. This is a little blind spot. You can also dive right there. I'm going to go ahead and back. Um, we're going to go Arcturid since we're against a uh, Kabrakin, but I'm going to go ahead and get the Glyph and some wards plus the Chalice. Definitely would rather have that than just the tier 2. Chalice is always nice to have. Yeah, I, I love Set. He's uh, I played him a ton in Season 7. I played him all year, basically. Won, won a couple playoffs uh, finals with him. And even uh, at Worlds in the finals, I, it was banned every single game from me, sadly. I don't know why I point save there. I mean, you can point save. It's fine. It's fine to point save, but usually I just get some points in the two. Because it's... Uh, Increases the duration, which is really good. Increases the damage. Got my normal wards out. I'm call missing because Kabrakin's running towards them. They shouldn't really be too threatened by him. So that's definitely one of those characters where I can just hard carry a game on, you know? Because it's it just has so much damage potential, and especially if you build a little bit of damage. Like, even in Season 7, I built him mostly tank. I was like, tank set, and... I would go like bead thorns and just run at people. I should be able to kill this good Vulcan. Nice. I still have my beads and ult, so. And I still have my glyph to pop off here, so I might try and all in these guys. I'll be taking this green. I'm just gonna all in these guys. Jotun's going off here as well. Just gonna get all my twos on the ground before I won. Nice. Then dash back in, so she's just dead. Make sure I hit her with the one. I'm dead here though. I'm just gonna commit. I'm dead either way, so. They did get the shutdown for that, so ideally not worth, but hey, it's okay. So you just gotta run it down, you know? Keep getting in there. Plus, if I just value my life this whole time and, and never run it down, then eventually I'll die and go get even more. Actually, they won't get even more. There's a maximum amount of shutdown gold you can get, which is 900. Look at this. I lost lane. My tower's about to die. That's smite, though. You can own your lane so hard. Rotate once, and they just stay and push one wave, and your tower's already gone. That's why tower health really isn't a great indicator of who is winning lane. Even if it was, like, it's about winning the game, not winning the lane. You lose lane, and easily be winning the game off of it. You know? Nice, when he was able to jump away. What are you doing, buddy? So the way they actually changed that three, the way it used to work is if as soon as you dashed, 
Let me kill this guy real quick. As soon as you dashed, you would, uh, it would put the, your dash on cooldown. Now it doesn't work like that. As you can see by that dash, it was still going. Um, so that was a cool interaction back in the day because you could like get that on cooldown ASAP. I'm going to try and heal off this wave with my Jotuns. Yeah, see, look at that healing. It's pretty sick. It's pretty good healing. That's like some Soul Eater type stuff. Um, so that interaction doesn't work anymore, sadly. This guy just going to try and defend. No, oh, he's going to try and go on me, right? Didn't quite hit my decoy there, but it's okay. I'll just kill both Bastions. One benefit of having some damage in your build is one-shotting Bastion. Get these. So yeah, see, it still hasn't gone on cooldown yet. So, so the cool part about that was, like, you could, like, dash in at the start of a team fight, get all of your abilities off, and you could dash out pretty soon after. Um, You still kind of do that, of course, but... I can show you guys another little interaction. I think I just killed the Cyclops. Yeah. I pull that guy. Yeah. I'm just going to pop my shard here. Because I'm going to back for my second relic anyway. I think I might go Thorns. Try out that Season 7 build that I used to go so much. Go kind of a tank build with uh, Thorns. I'm just going to dash here. Other relics I could go. They have a lot of slow on their team. Terrific can sometimes be good just to chase people down. Uh, but yeah, we'll go Arch Roots, Thorns. Can actually go straight into a Binding here. That's what I'm going to do. More of a, a damage bruiser build. But the Binding will be good because it'll also increase... This guy's about to die to the tower. <laughs> he just died to the tower trying to back toward it. Uh, it's so troll. But the Binding will be good for my Thorns as well. Is it, it just lowers their prot, so my thorns will do more damage. And thorns does magical damage, remember, so... For some reason it says on cooldown right here, but... But binding obviously reduces magical prots as well, so it works out. We'll go blue tiki. We're not a warrior, right? So we don't have warrior passive for CDR. But we do have flat pen. Also, realistically, once I get fed, like, I should just go full damage and just hard carry the game by killing everyone, but... Trying to, we're trying to test out a build here. Poke this guy a bit. He's got tier two breastplate, the most efficient item in the entire game. So kind of tanky here. We were kind of owning. Now my team's dying a little bit. Stash him. It's also a nice little auto cancel. What? They're killing people! Realm the game is still close! What is this? What an effed up day. Alright. Well, we'll get another set game. It's about to be a triple feature. We'll check the stats and then we'll skip to the uh, start of the next part. Maybe I'll try out a different build to keep it spicy. GG. I'm not really sure why they have sex. They were just- they literally were just killing people. You guys ever kill the enemy team early on in the game and say, yeah, let's have sex. It was just a bloodbath game. It was it was a fun game. Bunch of kills on both sides. I don't know why people would want to F6 that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it's 1.5k damage, so I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. We'll get another set gameplay going. Another one. All right, guys, we're back. Another set gameplay. I'm going the same build. I didn't really get to try out the build, to be honest, so hopefully we can see the uh, full potential of Bruiser set late game this time around. I'll just go the same thing. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Had a couple dodges as well today. Going for this gameplay, so. Get some Prage in the chat. And Odin! Odin as well barking up a storm. Alright. Hopefully the buff clear will be better this time around, though. That's for sure. Ended up not mattering, because we got the kill on, like, the third wave. But we do have a Janus with Conduit. And TP. A TP Janus with... Okay. To be fair, he let me solo. He swapped with me. So this time around, I actually grabbed the blue buff. This guy's about to die to this. That's okay. For some reason, Gilga is too, but no one else is. Okay. Not really sure. Maybe they had a different start or something. Conduit Anubis with TP, who I don't think is solo. Is he solo? What is going on? Okay, I guess he is solo. 
Enemy spotted. Did he try to invade duo or something and then TP away? All right. I'm gonna do so much damage to this guy. He has no defense and he has mage base stats. I will one shot. Just keep poking him as well. I have a beads phrase all in as well, so I'm kind of just in a good spot here. Make sure I get the axe box here. I'm gonna hit him with my three so I can group up the wave. Three does decent damage, so pretty good for a wave pair. No problem. They can't really kill me. Probably just be here for this uh, CDR buff, which I might contest. Did not hit my one. My two doesn't actually proc axe, sadly. That's a pet. Jump on this guy. Just gonna tank a tower shot and we get the kill off of it. I'm pretty sure his TP's down because he TP'd in after like invading duo or something. Actually pretty similar to last game where my team's dying, but I still get a kill my lane. We'll see if the same stuff happens. He's gonna let's see. If he does. Yeah, I think he already TP'd, so did not hit the buff with my decoy, sadly. Tons of kill potential. That's two, that's two games in a row now where it's just easy first blood, or not first blood, but a first kill in my lane. Because I have 30 power with Axe procs. I mean, 30 power early game? Like, that's, that's like 25% of all the power you'd ever get. I mean, not 25% to be fair, but like, if, you, if you're a warrior, if you're a tank build, that's literally more power than most builds even have. So that's kind of true. Could jump on him again here, but blues are coming up, so Gilga might be around. Make sure I get the decoy to go through the wave. He actually nerfed Seth's wave clear pretty recently, because he was meta in mid for so long. Let's see if my blue's getting invaded again. Looks like it's not. Nice. They might go for a tiki. One way you can tell whether they've done the tiki is it'll change colors, even if you haven't like refreshed the camp on the map by being near it. You can still see it from far away. So the same thing applies to their camp. If, uh, say like the first respawn of blues, you're wondering where their jungler is. Like it just happened. See, it just switched from purple to blue. That means their jungler just cleared that. Or the Anubis. Somebody cleared it. It's usually going to be the jungler. So it's a good way to keep track of him. Just a nice little tip for you guys. I'm going to get a ward so I can get a high ward going. And uh, oh, I'm going to stop that noise real quick. Okay. Oh, enemy spotted. Oh, there's a Morgan here. What the hell? It's actually a worse matchup for me because uh, he can turn into me. I have tons of uh, kill potential. Because he just has two kits, which is my one. A lot of damage, though. He's just dead. I have to use my beads for it, but that's still worth. Especially just to establish dominance in the lane. Bring that clone up here with me. He could have maybe held his beads, or not his beads, his stun. And like, just looked at me and I probably would have beads. Could have maybe outplayed me that way. But since I actually was able to beads the stun, that's just a free kill. That was his ult as well, actually, which is a long cooldown. Basically the same timer as my beads. Get this high word out. Keep killing these totems though. Also just lets me stack up my passive, so might as well hit it. Set probably one of the best transformations for Mori in the entire game. Because you stay transformed as Mori as long as you're using a channeled ability. So like, for example, if you're guan Thring and the Mori ult runs out, you're still going to keep guan Thring. And the same thing applies since set ult is a channeled ability. You can transform into set, use all of your abilities, and then when there's only a second left on Mori ult, you can set ult. And then you'll have that for 10 more seconds, or however long set ult is. So... Pretty good tech. Pretty good technology. If only I could place my... I mean, this 
Kind of goes with the Scotty gameplay before. If you could place your pet and it would proc axe, that'd be kind of broken. So far, we're losing as a team. Bit of a closer game, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and back for my tier two Arcturids. Actually, maybe not tier two. I'm, I'm just gonna get Glyph tier one like I did last game. Grab some more wards. Oh, I was talking about an interaction last game, but I didn't get to show you guys. I'll try and show you here. Could have done it just now. So what you can do is you can actually send your decoy forward and TP to it as it's going forward so you can dash even further. So let me see if I can show you guys. So I'm going to place my decoy. I'm going to one and TP to it. I messed it up. I messed it up. I'll try and show you guys though. It's it's pretty hard, hard to perform like in a team fight or anything like that. But if you're trying to get out of base a little bit faster and you get good at it, you could... uh. What you should do is already have your three going. That's not the way to do it. See, like that. So you kind of like TP a little bit further. I mean, set TP is already pretty far, but you can go a bit farther with that. Dash on him here. Can't really all on him. I missed my axe proc. That's unfortunate. I'm back up here. I'm just dead. Unfortunate. Unlucky. I thought he might uh, still transform into me, but turning into Numis is definitely the play there. So I have to beads his stun. But I kind of goofed that because I missed my uh, my first one on him. Missed my axe proc. There's that double kit paying off. No one v one. That's my beads down. So there goes a lot of my all in potential. Works in right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this Tiki. Oh, plus that. Make sure it goes all through. Actually, kill this as well, why not? I already got my passive gun, so. I'm gonna go uh, blue Tiki. I don't really need the attack speed. He has no ult now, though, so. It'll be down for a little bit, not a lot of CDR. Unlucky. He's quite fast because of Doom Worm. Still ahead though. Enemies incoming left. Yes. Okay. Say enemies incoming left. Well, My blue buddy. I'll take that. I should be fine though. He's still over there. I see him on my decoy. Is this their support? Yeah, their support's here for some reason. It's fine. Didn't really do anything. Nice. Another axe proc. I mean, I have good wards, so I should be able to go for this. Yeah, he's back in. He actually back. I'm gonna clear the tower line so he loses the wave to tower. Didn't quite clear those minions. I'm back in anyway though, so. My little decoys don't even hit totem, sadly. This game, I mean, Thorn still gets some value this game. So I'll probably go it, but. The squad is struggling. I'm just gonna rotate. I mean, I have two really good items for this point. I should be tanky to everyone. If I get a good ult off, I might be able to kill people. Oh yeah, bait this fight guys, bait this fight. The janitor's coming, the janitor's coming. I'm just gonna go ahead and ult to get my passive and everything on this guy. Cause I might be able to chase the other guys out if I do. This guy's quite tanky. Looks like they're not really uh, still fighting us though. This guy's out of mana, I can maybe chase. No ult now, but. I slowed both. The Gilgas still has ult. Oh, nice try with the Jane Assault. We can go gold. Did use both actives on just the support, but the, the plan was to keep chasing them if they they fought. Sometimes you just want to hit people in front of you on set so you can get your ult going, get your passive fully stacked up, get a bunch of clones on the ground. 
Because then if they start and fight around it, you'll just destroy them all. But it still ended up being worth because we got gold, we got a kill, we kind of forced them away. I'm going to go the exact same build, basically. I definitely need to be careful now, though, because I have no beads. No relic. Probably got my blue. Morty's level 12, so she probably just stayed here and farmed everything. Oh, she actually didn't do blue. She might be coming into this, so I got to bring, bring this back. Pretty good secure. With set 2-1, if you, as long as you hit like the clone going through the minions as well, you kind of want to 2-1 it at about like 450 HP, and you'll basically always have secure. No beads now, though, so I don't want to get uh, all into here by Mori. Now he's the same level as me. I had like a level lead almost after that wave under tower, but I'm just going to dash away. I don't want to get cheese killed by this guy. I'll just do the tiki. He's playing a corner on me. Atlas is coming over as well. Not a problem yet. Enemy missing right. I will war. Strike. Right at 14 here? Nice, I do. Not too shabby. I'm fine. Get some good poke. Can't reach. Don't want to be a little bit careful. <laughs> Are they just dual laning over here? What's going on? Atlas hasn't left. I'm gonna stop this guy's back for being a dweeb. Nice try. He backs is good. Yep, I'm gonna get another wave under tower. I'm gonna stop this guy's back again. Stop it with set twos, of course. I'm gonna be cringe towards you, buddy. You haven't left my lane. You're playing dual lane over here. You gotta be careful. My whole team's over here now. What's going on? Just defend middle lane. We're chilling, guys. Don't worry. You can use set twos for vision. It's a very useful thing to do. So, like, right there, just placing it over the wall. Maybe rotate here and kill Anubis. This guy is still here. What is going on? I had a roll swap. Now I'm playing it like against a dual lane and solo, basically. I kind of three early here, so you got to be a little bit careful. Got it. Yeah, we can kill this guy. Oh, he really wants me to not do my get my blue. I probably didn't need to beat that because we had a Geb nearby. That was kind of a bad map awareness by me. Actually, not kind of bad. That was just really bad. Complete waste of my beads. It's okay. That was his beads as well. Still a good kill. Because now we can kill this tower. It ended up being, it ended up being worth. We lost a right. Tier. We lost a right tier two. What the heck? Place another decoy. You only have two decoys charged at a time, so you got to make sure you keep track of that as set. Of course, when you ult though and hit people, it'll spawn a bunch of decoys. But as far as like safety decoys, ones that you can always have for getting away, you have to keep that in mind. I'm slow immune, so should be chilling here. Place that over the wall. I'm fine. Got chasing for no reason. Now he's coming to Bastion. That binding though. And then let's see here. Dawnbringer doesn't really work on this character. So some of the hammers can be decent. Let's try Scepter, honestly. With the more of a bruiser build, right? Right. I want a little bit more power, a little bit more damage. I already have a decent amount of defense. I'll probably go mantle last item with a centering axe, and that should be a nice blend of power and protections. But I want to go segments for multiple ones in my ult. If I'm healing a bunch and 
autoing them, I can get multiple ones off. That'd be sick. Plus, getting my three back sooner would be good. I heard him, but. Oh, that is so unlucky. Oh, I might be good. Nice, I am. Uh, can I out heal that? I cannot out heal that. I knew he was invis near me there, but. I didn't think the Atlas was there. Because I would have won that one so easily. Guy yeah, does not leave my lane. That's too bad. Enemy behind us. Janus, you're level 12. Janus, you're the the best farmer in the game. Janus, you're zero at six. I can't call him out. He let me. He let me swap with him. He's not a comfortable mid laner. But this goes to anyone. Just, just you don't have to rotate so much. Push waves. Waves are the most important thing in the game. Keep pushing your waves. Oh, nice job. That was huge. Janus ult plus Merc one. Just one shot that guy. Oh, this Merc's actually kind of owning the simple bagel. I always say I say bagel weird. Bagel. I'm coming back, guys. My beads are up this time. Just gonna on this Anubis. He can't really get away. My ult's coming back up. I gotta be careful though. My three's down. I can maybe kill these guys, or at least the Atlas. I'm gonna look for him. I'm gonna chase this guy. Try and get his invis. No, I couldn't quite get it. That's his ult though. I might be dead. I gotta wait for his three to run out. How does Atlas still have ult? Okay, his three ran out. I should be good. Yeah. So if you three like that to proc your ult a bunch because the dot on your three procs it, your dash will run out and then you can't use it to chase. So, because like I said in the last video, it doesn't work like that anymore where if you TP to it, it puts it on cooldown. See, it's still going. So even though you TP to it right away, it's still gonna be a while before it comes back up. I'm actually gonna stay. This guy's not and I have my glyph proc, so. Nice. It's an heal. He has no ult. Could maybe all in him. I'm just gonna reset. Get this scepter online. Got the tower, he's a poly procced. They got prior or down as a team by 7k. A bit unlucky, but if any character can carry from this, it's, it's definitely set. Plus this Merc's in a good spot. I'm gonna push this wave and then rotate. Like I said before, waves are very important. Nice, guys. He started to turn in the set because I guess he decided he can't kill as Anubis. I'm decently tanky to magical. Sundering Axe is really bad, especially if you don't have any protections to back it up, so... On my way. I mean, we rotate to this on here. Could probably chase this guy out. Get in there, Merc. You just dive this guy. He impaled the wrong person, buddy. Help! Nice. Wait, we should defend fire here, because Mori could turn into... Mori could turn into Merc, and they could probably one-shot it. So I'm going to start running over. Looks like they're just splitting, pushing left. Classic. Does Gilga have defense? He actually doesn't have much defense. Oh, he just jumped. I'm going to chase this guy. Fine. Should still be able to chase. Mori might be around, so I gotta be a little bit careful. My beads are still down. She is. See you later, alligator. Staying in one spot for, for me. Just what I want. And now as Anubis is here, we can fight this. This should be a really good fight. We can chase these guys out forever. We can chase these guys. No? Place a ward over the wall. Because we can go fire here. Oh, I missed. He turned around for some reason. That was confusing. So, like, items that give you a lot of each prot, like Arc Druids and stuff, are, and Mantle, are really strong. Gauntlet of Thieves, Prophetic. These items are really good for Centering Axe because it just takes the total protections you have. Physical plus Magical. 
it really make centering axe. It could it could take it from like a really bad item to at least a decent item if you have enough prots for it, you know. So make sure you're looking out for that. Like you don't want to be going axe and just going full damage and then just going centering axe. It's so bad. Speaking of which, I have a centering axe here which procked for quite a bit. Nice. I'll probably just kill this guy now. Why did I get stunned all the way back here? Geb's dead for it, but he didn't need to die to be fair, so. I have my beads and ult. I'm just gonna go ahead and beads. I'm gonna thorns that as well. Oh my god, we're getting farmed. Unlucky. They onked me. That's probably what caused that. He's chasing so hard. I'm dead. Unlucky. I knew he was gonna be chasing. I can't believe that fight went so bad, but they have a Divine plus Onk. They just farmed me. They, I can't believe they have Onk for just me, man. Literally the only person on the team that gets value on. Unlucky. Yeah, we just shouldn't have fought that. We just wasted our fire. Merc kind of just got killed as well. He got one shot when he ulted in. Alright. Manta would have come in clutch there. Took kind of a bad route to run away there. I could have just run straight to the tower and I probably would have been fine. Still basically a wash though. We got fire, killed like one or two people, but then we all died. I mean, we were behind before, so. Damn. Can't proc axe like that. I don't really care. We can fight this. He just onked me. All right. This, this Atlas is obviously a fan. Kept coming back to my lane, bought Ankh for just me. Making plays like that. Get in there, Geb. I gotta be a little bit careful. This guy's <laughs> not quite the get in there, I was thinking, but. Damn, lucky. MC's just dead. Nothing we can do about that. Did you see that movement speed I got for my Jotuns? I still got my thorns up. I did a ton of damage. But I got one shot still, sadly. It's like I don't even have tank items. Did what I could though. Did a decent amount of damage. Thorns didn't get much value because it, it basically just goes away right away because it has a damage cap on it. So they, the thorns kind of just spread out on all of them and then just disappeared probably. Just what you want. Oh, poetic justice. Listen to, uh, listen to music and I'm singing along. That's too bad. Don't want to sell this yet. I can't even get the tier 2 mantle. This game is definitely still winnable. We just need to get some farm on the squad. Or he's at that point where she can cheese one shot everybody. She can just invis stun polyproc and they're dead. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a fun interactive character. Merc's dead though, so that's probably not a good fight. In for fun. They onk, they used everything. Careful, Gab. Gab just keeps getting in these bad spots where you can't get out of. Good 
to play the corner on us, which they are. But I can place my decoys and just see them. I'm fine. This guy just can't get away ever. He's a poor AMC against this team comp. Damn, my, my one didn't hit. I want to hit that so I can get a centering proc. Oh, what the? Uh, I don't know about hitting the Atlas with that. I just got a nice one off. Oh, be careful, be careful, Merc. Don't dash in like that. Okay. Dead. Everyone's just kind of walking and dying. I could all in here. There it goes, man. There's the Onk. My three ran out as well. Unlucky. I can't play the game with Onk. I also... Four autos for 1100? Okay. With my three going? Okay. That's. I would say that's uh, not great. To be fair, it's because of the Onk. It make you take increased damage. So I, I basically just get one shot by it. Quite unlucky. Sorry. I wonder if he crit me in any of that as well. It seems master inter. <laughs> they could have ended, but instead they're going to fire, I guess. Got our mid phoenix up at least. the hell? What is this, guys? What are they doing? This might be a good fight for us. Maybe not. I'm just gonna try and hit this guy. I can't. Get one shot. Eh, that's game at least. Then we can move on to Sir Ket, because uh, I have a, uh, a fun little interaction cooked up for Sir Ket. Uh, but yeah, GG. We'll take it. It was a good early game and everything. People were just kind of behind, a little bit too behind to win this. We also got that fire and could have not died with it and probably been chilling, but... I didn't get to play the game once I uh, had to dive into a curse Donk upgrade, you know? But that's set in a nutshell, I'd say. And I would also say the bruiser build did not work out at all. I was still squishy as hell. That's why that's why I always say you should also just go like full damage on set. You can kind of just run around and one-shot people. And then that's like the best your best shot at winning. GG though. Alright. Um uh, but yeah, like I said, double feature. I'm gonna play it. A circuit as well, so that's gonna skip to that in three, two, one. All right, guys, we're back with this circuit gameplay. Here's what I've cooked up I'm going cannoneers, and what I'm gonna try to do, maybe at least once or twice this game, is I'm gonna ult a minion and I'm gonna auto the minion to instantly explode it to spread all the poison. The poison spreads, the poison spreads. Insert commentary here. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm only gonna go a few potions here because I'm gonna TP back in with this Cannoneers like pretty soon after. So I don't wanna use all my gold. I think I'll be chilling. Um, I'm actually gonna go Claw Shard and bow. A little bit of sustain in the lane will be nice. Ours. Um, and since we're starting pretty early for the buff spawn, let's do another Geoguesser. Why not? This was the one from before. Um, so yeah, let's just go next. Oh, is this. 
Is this Ghana with the tape? But oh, we don't have tape. Blue and yellow. Do have a follow car or anything? I think it still might be Ghana, but. Maybe Senegal? I still want to say. I think it might be Senegal, but I'm going to go Ghana. Actually, no, let's trust our gut. It's Senegal. Let's go. It was actually Dakar in Senegal as well. Nice. That's a two for two special on the GeoGuessr in one video and a two for one special Assassin Zeta A for Christmas. Merry Chrysler, everybody. I, uh, after I record these gameplays, I'm going to go start working on Christmas Eve dinner. Making some, uh, some ribeyes. Going to make some nice, some ribeyes, some sweet potato casserole. Baked potatoes and some salad. All from scratch, baby. Gonna be real nice. Thanks for the heal, Hades. Not too shabby. Our clear probably should have been a little bit better, but to be fair, yeah, I do have a zero power item, so I'm kind of screwing it. He also has, oh, he has axe. That explains a little bit. It only gives you 15 magical power. Probably didn't get his blight on everything that he would want as well. I gotta be a little bit careful in this lane because I don't have my cannoneers yet, so I'm kind of useless. Stop it. Don't be mean to me. Hey, he's not being mean to me. Let's go. So the thing is, you don't even have to go a build like this or clear because Sir Cat's clear is actually not too bad. You can groove up at the wave pretty easily and just one through all of it. And if you have something like Bluestone, like, you're gonna clear pretty fast. So, or even Axe, it would clear pretty fast, you know. You could also do something like this. Let's see if he plays up. I can one through him like that and then group up the wave. And since you have an AoE auto now, I say now, it's been a while that she's had it, but you can have the totem pal. Mary Chrysler. Oh, you hate to see it. And the minion blocked it. Starting up strong team. Starting up strong. It's my fault though. I didn't get them totem. That's why they died. He's got bluestone tier one rune forge. So quite a lot of damage. So I might just do the same thing. Yep, one through him, group with the wave. I gotta keep my three up. I could three it to clear, but I gotta keep my three up so I don't die. I still have my shard, but he's got Wukong passive, which is broken, so there's no point of going for it. Just getting it up away. If he tries to burn me here to him. Burn me, tiger me, you know what I mean. So yeah. Still have this potion going. I might stay a little bit longer because I kinda wanna get uh chalice or at least some more potion Arachne is in mid so we don't have to worry about a gank probably wouldn't die to it either way this is kind of sketchy for me there's a full wave and yeah i'm not gonna walk into him like that i'll just tank the minions and die unless i just want the minions he could have gone for the cdr buff though Let's see if I can if I can groove up the wave here and shard. I got a little bit of healing. Try and get behind these minions. I should be good. That was a little sketchy. Unless Arachne's here. Ah! Is this one coming back up? Oh, it was. Arachne was on the CDR buff, so. Should be good. Don't let me die, Thor. Okay, that was really greedy by me. Nice try, buddy. I could have uh could have died. I thought I'd heal a little bit more though, to be fair, off the, the shard. We'll go that. We'll go two multi pots because we're gonna maybe. Oh, wait, this guy's kind of low. Wait, if he gets near the minions, I'm gonna auto the minion. Oh, it didn't explode on him. Unlucky. I wanted it to explode on him because it does a decent amount of damage. All right, we're, we're five now. Now, if we have a cannoneer's rock, we can, uh, Try and hit him with it. We also have a purple tiki, which I like. Oh! Ares is in there. The level 3 Ares is invading their blue. What the heck? Another interesting game, it would appear. Wait, let's see if I can get a Cairniers going. Try and ult this minion. No! Okay, well, that's <laughs> round one of trying. Get out of here, bro. Why is he? Uh, why is my support at the four minute solo wave? At least I gave him a can near proc. Go, go right. 
<laughs> shut up! What do you mean, shut up, dude? What are, you're not playing the game correctly. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, he's out of here. Nice. Okay. Nice. He's gone. He's gone. I can actually play solo lane. His one is down, so I can just get this. Well, we gotta try that again. We're actually even in gold, which is a bit surprising. Kind of tanky here. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, I hit him with my Cannoneer's Prac. Ult in 15. I feel like it's gonna be hard if he pays attention because he's just gonna he's gonna run away from my minion. But maybe maybe we'll be able to do it. Maybe we can do it here. Um, minions are gonna be. I could just kill this guy. I mean, he's just dead. I didn't even need Doral. That was kind of interesting. That was an interesting play by him. All right, I'll just go do my blue. I'm kind of lacking some manners here. I want to get to the full late game build because I'm going to be basically full tank, the rune forged, and uh, boombas. Get some boombas procs going for fun. Miss the old boombas builds with to full tank because it used to go off of your max HP. Oh, so by the way, if you guys aren't familiar with my circuit prowess, I have a uh, in season six I played circuit solo against Deathwalker. Is one of my Biggest pop-off game, so if you're interested in watching that, if you just look up, I think, I think, probably if you look up Team Rival versus PK, Season 6 might, it should be there. It was quite the game. I was for Ket Solo, I went like 10-0 and 0 or something like that, 10-1. It's kind of going crazy. Had a bunch of crazy outplays in the game. Blocking Achilles ults, jumping over Susana ults against Adapting. Some gnarly stuff happened. Solo and zeros. Of course, you got to solo zeros. Try to hit him with that Kinnear's Rock. It's hitting for 105 now, so not too shabby. Oh, that's his bird. Hit him again. That was back when Guardian's Blessing was meta. So you could go like a really low pressure character like Sir Ket and still do a lot because you wouldn't get too far behind the Guardian's Blessing. Oh, he's here. I'm going to try and do it now. Oh, I hit him. That's unlucky. I'll just all in him. Make sure I proc my passive poison. Oh, Kinnear's proc again. Right there, I tried to hit the minion. I hit him. So that's unlucky. But we poked him out pretty hard, so. Like I said, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I want to hit it at least once, just for fun. Another similar interaction is putting a Cupid Heart Bomb on a minion and then throwing the minion with Sir Cat or Kumba and hitting somebody with it. That's pretty good. Point save, get a point in my ult. Another point in my ult, plus my one. I'm critting because I have two points in my ult now. <laughs> so silly. 5% crit chance. What's up, Arachne? Oh, that was a nice try, Bal. Okay, well, I could have killed him there if I taunted him. I don't know why he went in. Unlucky. I just missed my taunt. But I was also just a bit confused. Get back here. All right, let's group up with this wave. Boom! Okay, near Sprack. Definitely a drop kill on the Arachne. Got room for it now, so a little bit of power to help with our PBE. 110 crit, okay. 5% crit trance, going crazy. Their Hachi's kind of fed. I'll be able to take care of him, no late game. Don't you worry. We just gotta get there. I don't really need to pop that, that pot there. I'm have enough HP 5 from Room Forged. 15, not, not bad. Don't run away. I need to poke this guy out. Oh. I need to poke this guy out so I can actually uh, kill him with the ult interaction. I need, to start, I need to start hitting my taunts first. Oh, no! She interrupted him. He interrupted my 3. I'm gonna try it here. Oh, I hit him! How is it? I actually might be out. Oh, he played it. 
Nice. Thank you, Hades. Ah, oh, the Rakti's here now. What the heck? I actually would have been fine if I didn't get my three canceled by the Bake. Oh my god, now Nax is here. The whole team is here. Okay, that's too bad. I guess their dueling can kind of just run around. My dueling is so far behind. Lucky. Guys, we just gotta survive. Keep keep surviving. Probably just gone. Lucky. It's gonna maybe rotate to that. I don't think that interrupts his uh dash. You just want me off there, pal. Oh my god, these spiders, man. I'm walled off, ain't I got spiders on me? Probably kill this guy. I'm tanky. No, the spiders blocked it, man. This racking still has blink. They could probably kill, though. Get in there, guys. Yeah, they probably won't be able to. Damn it, indeed. Oh, no, 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 no. Hades. Oh, that's a kill. That's a kill, surely. Nice. We're back in it. The squad is back in it. Uh, I was going to maybe upgrade my teleport. We'll wait to do that. Paul is not pushing his right waves. I just want to say, for the record, not going to say anything besides this. I have one of the highest casual conquest helos in the game. That's all I'm going to say. Do with that information what you will. When it comes to... To smite. We're coming back in this game, okay? I'm telling you, it's happening. Mark my words. Kong missing. Oh, he's here. Pop my shard here for a little bit of healing. And he just runs away, man. He's not even going to be near the minions for me to actually do the thing. Oh, I can do it here, but I just parked my cannon here. Shoot. He's going to play back anyway. Let me try it now. He's just going to run. He's just going to run. He's scared. Oh, I caught it. He just walks into it, man. That is unlucky, I guess. Keeps People keep blocking my ult. <laughs> Blocking is so funny because it's of course you want to hit them. I guess I just put it on. Oh, it is on normal. Huh? We're patient with it, I guess. Some crazy damage. 55 per taunt and then a couple autos. Never seen a more scared Wukong. Who has defense? Oh, I almost got it. It's close. That's his shard down. He might ult to come back up. There's like just two spider walls here. Now oh, this guy's back. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I kind of don't want to back right now because I want to upgrade my TP. Maybe start getting active here. My ult's coming back up. Oh, okay. Roll down. Oh, Rachne all down too. Sheesh, that was a good value Thoro. Like a great value Thoro, and I'm not talking Walmart brand. I can maybe do it now. Oh, it spread. It spread to the spiders. Come to me, come to me. Nice, it spread, it spread. It's on him, it's on him, it's on him. Kill him. Get him, Thor. 
Let me get the kill. Let's go. I did all the work. Let's go. Nice job. Good job, Dor. <laughs> we did it. It spread to the spiders even. That's so funny. Now I can get my blink as well. Oh, I should have gone beads. Who cares? But they have a Nox. Most cringe character, man. What the hell is Thor doing here? Or there he's doing here. Pulling the blue under tower. <laughs> he's question marking him. Are you trolling? I don't think he's trolling, pal. Guys, don't type to each other. Everybody shut up. Let's focus. We can win this. I'm not going to be able to play the game now that I have uh, no beads for Nox. Imagine picking Nox. What are you doing? Like, what, what's the plan? Does anything go through your brain when you're doing this? <laughs> this guy just keeps coming back here with zero kill potential. That's his blink down, though. That's a win for the team. Now they don't have to worry about interacting blinking on them, but they do have to worry about interacting running behind him. Can maybe try and go for the interaction again. He might be keen to it now, though. He might be aware. I just used to rock. Get him a little bit lower. All right, I have a can near proc here, but I need my taunt up. Okay, that's his bird down. That's his bird down. This next minion wave, maybe. He does have Breastplate though, so it'll come back up soon, especially if the Bao procked on it. Although I don't think Bao can proc on Wukong 3, because it's so bugged. I can't get him too low, he's just going to be scared. But I've out-traded him way too hard. Maybe I can do it here. I'm about to just tower dive him with it. Okay, well it's spread to these minions. Come here. Nope! Oh, it's spread. It's <laughs> he's just gonna run away, man. Play up. Oh my god. All right, maybe I'll back and TP right. I don't have ult though, so I can't really help him that much. I'm coming, guys. This is our fight. This is how we get back in the game. They're not grouped. No, man. I'm time dilated and Nox tood. Literally cannot play the game. Alright, just killed the whale, I guess. I wish we could have killed Hachi. He was fed as fuck. We're not even gonna kill Bake? Okay. We killed the Bake. Oh, I got spiders on me. How many spiders do I have on me? Unlucky. Maybe if I had my ult. My ult's coming back up. Can maybe kill this Hachi. Oh, nice. Oh, come on. Don't be so scared. Level 17. Oh, I tried to immune. I tried to immune. I should be good. Can I jump? Kill the Hachi. Kill the Hachi, Hades. Attack him, attack him! Get him a pole, get him a pole, land, land, land! Yes, yes, this is the shutdown we need, yes! Yes, let's go, boys! We're actually back in it, that was a huge shutdown. Easy baits by me, that's what I mean. They call me the... We are back in it, guys. Top everything's your cat, but this horrible build. It's actually not that horrible, but... I mean, it's gonna be a good late game, but... Cannon yours is not the play, obviously. But we got our clip, right? We got our clip. That's all we needed. I AoE we auto this blue Tiki because I want that. My TP is up, so I could TP to them. Kind of want to push some waves, though. I want to get to this build. I promise this game's winnable. We also have this split push Apollo attack, so. And their racking's going to fall off, I think. We're not hitting this guy very hard, but we have a lot of HP 5. I also said HP 5 from Runeforge, but I also I get HP 5 from uh, Cannon Ears as well, so both. I don't leave my lane. Wait, can I can I proc it on the spiders? No, I can't. Help me, Hades. I'm dead. He's got crit. Crit me a few times. 
That guy's an ult. Nice, good ult, Thor. If they can kill here. Oh, he got shelled. This Arachne's fed, so it would be another good shutdown. Oh, he's 1 HP. Ah, dang, he's dead too. If he didn't uh, hammer like that, he could have waited with his wall and then he would have done hammered and killed. I can't fight this guy for two seconds without this Arachne coming over. Sadly. Sort of like that last game with the Atlas. Basically just a dual lane over here. Are they on fire? Oh, yep. They're on fire. I mean, if we could steal, that's... Oh! No, I almost could have. Run, pow. I mean, I'm kind of tanky. Not to the Hachi. They'll still one-shot me. And they're all just running at us. Oh, gank. Oh, I got a nice taunt. I got the Hachi. That's his beads. That's him in the tower. Ah, uh, cringe. Am I dead to that? I'm dead to Nox too. Or ult, rather. Can they kill though? We killed Bake. They're low. Yeah, get in there. Nice, that's huge. Another good bait. Another good bait fight. We probably kill Nox too. We get all their fires off here? Nice job. Well, that's worth. When you're behind like that, taking a, getting a fight like that is the best you can do. Kind of wombed in there. We got the double taunt off. Turned on the Bake. I think caught his dash, maybe. I'll probably get this tier two though. Unless they ran away. Okay. Farm up, squad. We can do this. You know, get him, get him in the Christmas spirit. Bring some jolly, some joy around. I want to keep farming. I don't do good damage right now, but once I get a Prudent and Boombas, I can at least spam my abilities, you know? Get a bunch of CC going. Maybe force some beads. We do have an Aries Thor and a Hades, so like... People's beads are down. That's our ticket into the game. I'll just go ahead and do these backs. Turn back left, get a little movement speed from that camp. I'm gonna push the wave. Racky might be here, but I kind of want to push away. Oh, she is. What the hell? Why are they even here? I can just jump over the wall and I won't die to Knoxville. Ares is dead though, but... Oh, shit. Kill this guy. No shot. I mean, he's dead for it, but... The tree, we're all going to die. <laughs> We're all dead. Wait, why are they there, man? They still have two fires they were in, right? And they just all backed and came left for some reason? Maybe they saw, saw us cross a ward or something? But, like... You would think that they would push right, you know? It's the best lane to push, or even mid. This guy is so... He's so, uh... Negative. He's so pessimistic. These guys are going at it. This is not the Christmas spirit we need, guys. Long's level 20. That's criminal. Tragic. Wait. Kill these guys. Why is this guy blinking on me? That's a free kill. Nice job. Gank, gank, gank. Eh, I was gonna maybe TP. We could gank some money, but... Every every kill we've got in this game is from a perfectly executed bait by the Masturbator himself. Oh, gank. Oh, I can't... Dude, I'm... I miss old circuit jump. So in short now. Oh, good stun. We can kill this guy. 
I missed my taunt, but he should be dead. Oh! Good fear by that guy. I mean, this guy's dead no matter what, but still. Should have hit my taunt. The the Furket is rusty. There's no doubt about it. Oh, thanks, Paul. Well, that was Nox Beads. Could probably kill her again. All the CC we got. It's going to be kind of hard to look for the, uh, the clip now, the interaction. It's not a lot of waves. I can maybe do it on a fire wave pushing the base when they are pushing. I should have got this boombas earlier so I could have cleared jungle better. I performed a bit. Here, let me give you a cannon here, Sprock, buddy. A little bit of gold for you. He gets that tower. I hit 20, so I can get my boombas upgrade. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh, he got it. Okay. This guy's ulting in base because he's trolling. Oh, they're on our thing. Oh, it's a Wukong. Not going to be able to kill that guy. Thor is level 20 now, though. Want to get my Boombas proxy in between my autos? That's his ult. Oh, not quite in range. Oh, it's his beads anyway. Oh, Thor, be careful. I don't know about this fight, buddy. Oh, shit. He hit Nox. Nice. Oh, not in range, man. I can actually probably kill this guy. I'm going to ult him. Maybe not. I hit that, but it was slow. <laughs> Shouldn't be fighting this. Oh, he canceled my taunt, dude. That is unlucky. That is unlucky. He stunned me mid taunt, so then it was on cooldown. I shouldn't ult to the Wukong. That was a dumb ult by me. These fire minions are going all the way to right. What the heck? It's looking, I mean, it's looking grim, but there's still a chance. There's still a chance for sure. I'm using this gameplay either way because I got to get working on that that Christmas Eve dinner. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, we can maybe get our left Phoenix up. I mean, you should defend it. Nah, we're going to lose one of these Phoenix either way. There we have a Titan on it. Be hard to kill. I'll keep the bow for now. I'm gonna go the upgraded Pridwin, so I don't want the Reinforged Glyph. Can we gank? Go on Hachi here. I threw into my team trying to get the auto after Zagus. He's gonna be low. Oh, walk into the. Damn it, that's unlucky. He almost walked into the Hades ult. Taunt this guy and get the Boombas proc. Nice. That's actually huge. Oh no, he almost got the Hachi before he backed. This Thor is playing well. Try to get the double taunt. We're time dilated though. And our noise. I hate the sound, man. I hate the sound of Bakayo. It's actually jarring. And you're talking Mason. You gotta hit those. Get in there. You gotta hit those knocks. Yep, I knew you wouldn't hit him. Uh oh, she's gonna cancel my three. Almost. Oh, I killed somebody. Okay. You're not gonna hit this Nox 2 1. You're not him. You're not that guy. Oh no, Apollo. Apollo. I wanted to go on the Hachi. He has no beads, but nobody's gonna be here to kill him. Maybe I can do the interaction here. Oh, I get it! Oh, don't hit me! Spread, it spread! It spread! Oh, it spread! Oh, baby, that was all worth it. it. Everything was worth it up to that point. The redstone stays on me for so long, Jesus. We did it, though. We actually did it. Need a little bit more for full Pridwin and then even more for the Glyph, but... <laughs>
<laughs> he walked into it for me and then Nox dashed in and she got hit with the poison. It spread. It is pretty funny you one shot the fire minions with the full tank build. Cannoneers. If the minions are too low, it doesn't proc. Wait. Uh, he backdoor it with the bomb. Fringe. Pretty good clear if you group up the wave. I guess I have Boombas as well. I could be doing that. Alright, one more wave and I have my full blue prude win. Should be a pretty nice shield. I have a decent amount of prots for it. They might be on gold here. Alright, I'm back. Would not be surprised if they were on me as well. They seem to chase me around. Like little goobers. Okay, well, two phoenixes down, but we aren't really buying more in gold, and we're all hitting 20. Can't get further past that. They're not getting a bigger lead when it comes to XP. I could be the one to defend, right? Because I have TP. Uh, it's kind of hard to coordinate that a lot of the time. And I feel like my team, without me, we may not win the fight. I needed Brent Sunday. I needed him. He was my. He was the ace up my sleeve this game. Uh, I cancel my two. Well, that's where I can go down. I should be good if I can make it over that wall, which I did. This guy's gonna chase me. I bet. He's different like that. Never mind. He's not. Okay, well that's Knoxville down, or Acne ult down. They do have EFG now. Only way we ever defend is if we get a nice fire blink off, so... Let's try and upgrade to that. Try and get our ult back with Boomba's procs. Oh, I mean that thing's gonna die no matter what, so that's not a big deal. Wait, kill this guy! He has no beads. Or no, not beads, ult. Get him! No, Hades! Nice, good kill. Ow. You gotta hit that, buddy. This might be a decent fight. I had to use my blink, so... Oh, attack! No, man! I hit somebody. Oh, I hit both of them, because they're inside of each other. Ah! Hit him, hit him, Apollo! Apollo's here! He's here! Triple kill. Oh, this Ares just hits AFK. Who's the one doing nothing now, Ares? Well, that's all their fire's gone, but that's also all of our Phoenix is gone. Can't reach. Lucky. Careful, buddy. Be careful. Oh my god, he almost died. Rackney's coming back, so we gotta run. I'm good. I'm Sir Ket. I'm not getting caught. Sorry? No. Don't be sorry, buddy. Alright, we got the fire blink now, and a 500 pot. I'm telling you, we really can win this. We really can. We just have to punish them when they're naughty. I also need to sell this cannoneers. I'll probably... Eh, I'll keep it for now. It's still decent protection. But... I should probably start saving up for something. Something real nice. Maybe a binding or an arc druids. We are over camped with a 500 pot. CDR wise, but it doesn't matter. Capping CDR is pretty meaningless. Especially when Blueprint wins kind of strong on its own. I mean, if it didn't have CDR on it, it'd be a glyph worth buying, probably. I'd probably need a little bit more prots. It didn't seem like my shield was that big. Yeah, yeah, we can kink this guy. I think he might just be dead if I can get him in. Oh, I didn't get him in the fire again. You're not healing, buddy. Nice. Did use my fire blink. 
Relic Dagger would have been really nice for just get, making a bunch of plays with TP and Blink and upgrading those ASAP. Rocky or Frig. Are they trying to go left, Phoenix? <gasps> oh, this could be a good fight. This should be a good fight. They have no actives. They, they fucked it up as well. Oh, huge! Wait, I thought they had no actives. Good land by Thor. No, I landed into a Nox too, man. I can't play the game with this cringe. Get him, Apollo. It's a 1v3, Apollo. He needs to be a little bit careful, though, because he doesn't have a uh, Ares. He can, he can kill these guys, though. Oh, but our Titan's going to die. Oh, damn, that's game. Yeah. Oh, unless? Wait, they're, they're scared to walk in. <gasps> oh, the Nox one killed it. That's unlucky. I didn't see the Nox 2 on the ground when I jumped in. I was going to try and help the Thor. That should have been a good fight, I feel like. I'm surprised they uh, still had their actives up. I thought they would have been down. Unlucky. If I didn't jump in the Nox 2, we would have killed everybody, probably. And then we would have won the game, maybe. Well, we wouldn't have won the game, but we would have gotten Defender of Titan and got our Phoenixes back up. Curses. GG, though. That was fun. That was still fun. Despite the trolling Aries. Um, the 33k damage mitigate 81 and we were able to do the interaction twice two two times so we'll take it and like I said it's time for me to may have done something recording yeah you don't say it's time for me to go make Christmas Eve dinner Merry Christmas everybody I hope you guys enjoy this double feature of assassins in the Zeta A series I had fun and uh, you know if you don't if you didn't like the video for the two crazy geo guess guesses not really that crazy but they were they were accurate they were confirmed good then i uh, like the video because it's christmas okay and uh yeah that's it stay safe and healthy as always enjoy your holidays everybody merry christmas happy new year's happy annika happy holidays i love you all bye bye peace out